another corporate figure has been targeted by the eco-activist group The East. We need someone to get inside The East. Who would you choose? Me. I'm unexpected. Being unexpected is the only advantage that matters. Robert McCabe called me himself. In one month's time, I want to know the identities of every person who poisoned his company. I'm looking for the East tag. I heard the East doesn't exist. Who is she? Who is she? Welcome to the East, Sarah. I have something planned for us. This movie was inspired by a summer we spent on the road traveling America. So it's so cool to be taking this movie now, this finished movie, to different cities in America. Well, yeah, and you traveled before, like the characters in the film, doing everything, sort of living a sort of almost vagabond kind of life and dumpster diving and that whole thing. And here you are at a nice, nice hotel. It's, it's a little bit different of a, of a travel for you, huh? Yeah, but you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you travel. I think it matters who you travel with. Mm -hmm. And so both times I got to travel with this person, so it's it's felt kind of nourishing, yeah. either at this hotel or you know on the streets, sleeping on the streets. I think we've, we in the way we made this film was so much in the spirit of the experience that we had and the idea of wanting to make something in a tribe and and to feel a sense of community about it all. And I think all the actors who came to set felt it was a very different set from yeah. those films that they had worked on and there was a real sense of love to it and everybody coming to work every day you know not worried about their position in it or their ego or their close-up but everybody really in service to the story and wanting to do the best thing for the story so that's that's a rare position to be in it was a lot of fun hmm. would you recommend that for young filmmakers looking to get into something like that where there's such a subject that requires you to go to extremes like that? Oh, like our trip? Yes. I think that when you do when you do it for research, it never works out that well, but when you do it to just broaden yourself, it does. I mean, I think that like the interesting things in life happen when you're not looking. Or when you're not trying to get something or do yeah. something, yeah. And, but I do think that the most salient thing we took away from that summer was the idea that the best resource we had at our fingertips, the thing that was free and abundant, was other people our age who were hungry to make something. And so using the idea of a collective in order to make a movie has been deeply rewarding for us. And I don't think, hopefully, we'll never lose that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and also, this, this is an interesting timing for the movie. And, and I, I know, have you guys gotten a lot of uh, concern about that, just sort of the... I think people seem actually really like relieved and, ex and glad to talk about this stuff. It's, it, it's a, the movie provokes an interesting dialogue about mm -hmm. what to do uh, with frustration. I mean, I think, every, I think everybody, whether on the right or the left or somewhere in between, feels frustrated by corporate, sort of unchecked corporate greed by what happens in the BP oil spill and, and the sort of lack of accountability for the people responsible by banks that can no longer be held accountable because if you jail them or really take them down, you take the whole economy with them. So we're in this really strange time with a lot of moral gray. And I think people are tired of looking away from it or not thinking about it at all. I think people want to talk about it and want to think about what the way out is or what the way is. And I think this movie sort of offers creates a room to have that conversation. And that's why the conversation has been so fruitful so far, I think. Yeah, and but we also didn't want it to feel like a like a conversation. We wanted it to feel like an exciting movie. So mm -hmm. we sort of wanted to discuss a lot of the ideas that we were feeling and the frustrations we were having, but put it, you know, bet it with a, a thriller and something exciting. Yeah. Well, and you guys have been have an interest in sort of the mysterious or unknown, it seems, because between sort of the uh, conspiracy theories uh, and the, the short film and then the, the uh, cult and then sort of these uh, secret extremists, if you will, they, you know, there's, there seems to be a, a somewhat of a theme going along, right? Yeah, the unseen or the hidden is exciting. Mm -hmm. It's probably true for so many movies. Yeah, I think it's also, it's the, it's rich grounds for mystery and, and the thriller, and 
we like the kind of movies where you are on the edge of your seat the entire time, but when you leave, it's not an it's not an empty edge of your seat movie. It's a movie that leaves you full at the end, like you feel like you were moved and something, something of value, you know, took place. And so we tried to we tried to make something like that, and I hope we succeeded. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and, and you and you have succeeded, and and. That this is probably, I'm sure, very inspiring to, to young filmmakers. So what would you say to young filmmakers that are looking to get into the business? Well, I guess what I said earlier, which is um, the thing that you have at your disposal are the things that are free, your youth, uh, your friends, uh, other people who are hungry to work for nothing, you know, to work for the love of just making something. I think a lot of young uh, people who are drawn to filmmaking just want to make films. I don't think that they necessarily even, I, I, I don't think they even want to get paid for it. They just want to make something. And so the hard thing is to find people that can make it with you. And I think that uh, that's the hardest part. I don't think you need to worry about people giving you permission or money or any of those things. You just need to form a tribe of young people that, uh, or older people, just people who are hungry to make things. Yeah. Do you say the same? Yeah, that and I would say that, that writing is a real way around um, waiting. <laughs> that if you, you know, if you take it upon yourself to just start creating and making stories, it's a, a, a way out of waiting for stories to come to you. <laughs> That's true. Well, thank you so much for being with us, and congratulations again on the film. Thank, thank you. you. Welcome to the East, Sarah. There's something planned for us. When it comes to breaking the law, most people can't handle it. I can do it. Let's go. Let's go. Never fall away. This group's committed, and they're ahead of us. An eye for an eye. Can't be more. You can't be less. There are consequences. Getting attached to them is all right, but do not get soft. If they find out who you really are, they will give a second thought to your destruction. I can't keep going like this. It would be easier if we didn't feel the need to fight. If we just let go. What's the potential damage? Severe. What did you expect? That it was going to be painless? You're going to stay calm. You're going to hold your cover. 